plot of uh, 10 hyperbolic acts okay so uh, let's see how does it how is it defined so 10 hyperbolic acts this can be written as uh, sine hyperbolic x divided by cosh hyperbolic x cosh hyperbolic x so this is e to power x minus e to power minus x divided by 2 and this is e to power x plus e to power minus x divided by 2. So finally we have the form as x e to the power x minus e to power minus x divided by e to power x plus e to power minus x. So this is what we are looking forward to plot. Uh, you cannot simply just plot sine hyperbolic and cos hyperbolic two graphs separately and then divide. Division is a very difficult thing to follow in the graphs. So uh, what we'll do is we'll apply uh, this method that we'll find out uh, the values of tan hyperbolic at different points uh, in the um, graph with respect to uh, like uh, the values of x. Now let's take a look at a finite value of x. For example, if we have x equal to 0. So at x equal to 0, how will it behave? So tan hyperbolic at x equal to 0. So we'll, let's, we'll put 0 in place of x's in the power. Okay. So this becomes, this is basically 0, right? 1 minus 1 and by 2. So this is with 0. So at x equal to 0, tan hyperbolic x is 0. Now, let's take a limit at the extremities. What happens when we take very large values of x? So limit x tends to infinity for the, this graph will be what? Let's see. If we expand, use the definition e to power x minus e to power minus x, e to power x plus e to power minus x. Now, to find the limit, we what we'll do is we'll take uh, this common e to bar minus x. All right. So, uh, or better, it will be if we take e to bar x. So this will become e to this will be two minus two x, and this will become e to bar x. This is one plus e to bar minus two x. All right. So, if we put the limit. We'll just cancel this out okay now we put the limit so what happens is we get this is two times the infinity and this is one plus e to two times the infinity basically this these factors this one and this one they go to zero and what are, what we are left with is with one so one one this is one point this is the other thing and the last one being that so we take x tending to minus infinity tan hyperbolic x this further expanded in exponential format that gives you e to power x minus e to power x by e to power x plus e to power minus x so in this case uh, we have minus infinity so we would be looking for terms inside this bracket which we had made here we'll make a similar bracket out here uh, containing uh, a term which has a positive power in the exponential so that we can put it to zero so what we'll do is we'll take out minus e to a minus x as common so this gives you 2x this is this gives you minus one and this one uh, in the lower uh, let me write down the limit here I should not leave this empty out here. This is minus infinity, all right. So this one becomes e to the minus x and this is e to the 2x plus one, all right. So these two terms get canceled uh, and we are we are canceling this because we are not doing it at, at the in minus infinity, all right. Before we are, before taking the limit, we are canceling these terms. So what happens here is, uh, you put the infinities now minus infinity in both the cases okay minus one and in this case also two this is minus infinity this is plus one so what will happens is this value is a very small number this is a very small number this is both of them goes to zero so what we are left with is minus one minus one by one so this is minus one so we have three points 
now will uh, we see that as we keep on increasing the values of uh, x like uh, it goes it becomes very large we get one it re it approaches one and as we uh, go towards negative infinity like negative uh, bigger numbers it approaches minus one so the graph would look like this so this is the y axis this is the x axis uh, the reference line okay this is y equal to 1 and the other one that is y equal to minus 1 so what happens is uh, this this and we see that this goes to 0 right one can see by differentiating this thing that it's a it will give you a the derivative is continuous everywhere so we'll have a smooth curve and this will look like this it will tend to 1 okay at minus infinity uh, uh, so plus infinity and this side it will tend to uh, this will tend to minus 1 all right so this is the graph for tan hyperbolic x thank you for watching have a great day you, if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like subscribe and uh, share with your friends